A new magic set means new cards, new mechanics, and of course, new magic art. With the release of Shadows over Innistrad comes another opportunity to highlight one of Magic's most iconic artists, Wayne Reynolds. A British artist from Leeds, Wayne has been giving life to the cardboard frame since as early as Kamigawa block. Champions of Kamigawa brought seven Reynolds cards to the game, and since then he has provided artwork for 128 total cards. It's not quantity that matters, however, but quality and style. As Magic art direction has become more and more streamlined in the recent years, and sets are being released at a higher frequency, many artists have felt the pressure to conform to the mold in order to maximize production. Of course, this is nobody's fault, if not simply a natural response to high demand. However, I'm excited to shine a spotlight on an artist who, regardless of the pace at which magic is currently being made, has remained consistent and true to his roots and flair. I also intend on making all of you experts of Wayne Reynolds, able to detect his work upon first glance. So get your art goggles on everyone, let's do this! Wayne's style, like I've said before, truly sticks out from the rest. Although he attended an art university, he is largely self-taught and refers to the painting process as a mystery even to himself. None of his works are digital, he prefers acrylic paint and pens and finds himself obsessing over details, be them a facial expression, armor decorations, or textures like fur. In looking at his magic cards, what I've always noticed primarily about Wayne's work is just how angular all of his subjects are. Look at the bodies and weaponry in Arms Dealer and Blood Reckoning, for example. Everything about these pieces is sharp, literally and figuratively, as all the angles come to acute edges across the canvases. Many Reynolds pieces also feel highly two-dimensional, as if layered from thin paper cutouts pasted onto the page. Most of his commissions are for humanoid figures, be them angels, goblins, or fairies. Some of the more famous cards include Wild Nacatl, Ib Halfheart, Dreadbore, and Fiend Hunter. Again, notice the razor-thin edges and unidimensional plane that these pieces move through. Reynolds' characters are highly ornamented and often feature atmospheric debris surrounding their movements. Tempered Steel, Terminate, Thunderstrike, and Core Hookmaster are perfect examples of this effect. It's as if the artist's universe was made of glass, and every impact produced shards of flying crystals across the frame. Like I said, you're a Wayne Reynolds expert now, and now is the time to prove it. The game is simple. I give you art, and you must find his card. Remember, think sharp glass. The correct answer is Magus of the Library. Gift of Tusks is a Kev Walker piece. But come on, you knew that. You've seen my Kev Walker video. This one was easy too. Teriel is the Wayne Reynolds angel. The other angels, in contrast, all have very soft details and atmospheric depth. Teriel looks like a badass flyer made of a thousand triangles. Remember the shard debris highlighted earlier? Epic Confrontation, a fan favorite from Dragons of Tarkir, features this, and is the Reynolds piece from this bunch. Okay, if you're feeling torn, here's a hint. There is more than one correct answer. In fact, all five cards are Reynolds Arts. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. And all of these are but a fraction of this prolific artist's portfolio. Next time you're cracking a pack, shuffling up for a game of Commander, or foiling out your modern deck, take a look at the paintbrush in the corner, and you may find another gem from Wayne Reynolds' imagination. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers! So, what's your favorite Wayne Reynolds card? Let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Twitter. Also, be sure to watch the first installment of the series on Kev Walker, right here.